Hi, it's Matt with Backcountry Pack Rock Rentals here. Today I'm going to talk about a few of the most common uh, leaks, if you will, which some of them aren't actually leaks. Um, so the first one is is your cap. So um, a lot of times people say, oh, I, my raft has a leak, I can hear it hissing out of the cap. So the sometimes the, the uh, one-way valve doesn't always completely seal on the inside there. So um, that's why there's this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this tiny seal around the top of your cap and that once that's tightened um, and you want it all the way tightened I mean don't strip the threads out but but it needs to be pretty firmly tightened once that's tightened it doesn't matter if there's a little air if you can hear a little air in this part of the um, valve um, and a, a really common thing to happen is for that seal to just fall out um, it's not glued in there or anything. It can just pop out. Yeah. At, um, so that's that's kind of the first place I would check is that valve and the uh, and the seal. The, the other most common one is if you have a raft with a zipper. There's, it just takes like one grain of sand, one tiny piece of grass, anything like that um, can really it can cause a leak. Um, so um, make sure you lube the zipper. Um, there's there's other videos that that cover that in way more detail, but um, if you can see, I don't have I don't have an example of it here, but if you'll be able to see a crack typically um, along the along the zipper, and then if it, you don't see one but you're pretty sure it's the zipper, you can run um, uh, dish soap up and down along it if you have that available. But um, typically the ones that are really going to cause you problems, you'll actually be able to visibly see where the piece of sand is or whatever. So if you do find a leak somewhere on the tube. Uh, a great option is patch and go. So uh, this white stuff it comes in every um, patch kit that I have, and then or sometimes it's clear as well. But basically, you identify where the um, the hole is, and then you peel the paper apart. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and deflate this because you don't want to you don't want to patch it unless it's deflated because then it'll. Um, the air pressure will cause the, the seal not to be as good. So so let's say our leak is right there. We're gonna go just ahead and put it on there. And then if you happen to have scissors with you, you could round the edges so it stays on better. Um, but that's a great way, great idea if you're you know on the river and you have a hole, or even it can even cover you know longer longer rips, three inches. So those are some some basic. Uh, uh, leak diagnosis ideas. Mm -hmm.